Of all the wonderful examples of Penton motorcycles on display was one with a particularly rich racing pedigree. Currently owned by John Bohr, it is the exact machine on which KTM North America President Rod Bush campaigned the 1975 International Six-Day Trial. Sadly, only weeks after this event took place, Rod passed away following a brief illness. The entire motorcycling community mourns Rod's passing. However, his memory lives on in ways such as this machine's presence now and in the future. Well, I got the bike, I saw it on eBay a number of years ago. Uh, the gentleman selling it listed that was Rod Bush's bike and it had been in the Blackwater 100 in West Virginia or something like that. And this was supposedly his qualifier bike for the ICT. Um, and I thought, oh, it's Rod's bike, it's pretty cold, price wasn't that bad. So I put a bid on it and I watched it and watched it. And it wasn't to just before the meeting or the Penn Owners Group meeting that I finally figured out that I won. And uh, everybody's coming and congratulating me. But Jack Penton says, you know, you know what bike you got? You, you got Rod's iced DT bike. I says, well, how do you know? He says, all this stuff. And he, uh, we looked at some pictures and he showed me the uh, muffler. The center stand was key because the only bikes in the United States that were ice, or, uh, had center stands were ice DT bikes. And I'm like, well, okay. And then he says, well, look at the things that are painted red. You have on the front uh, wheel. You got the axle, a little piece of steel welded to it, painted red. In the back, if you were to pull off the axle, the adjusters and the spacers are all welded. So you had less pieces when you had to change the rear tire or the uh, uh, inner tube. So he, there's a lot of little things. And then uh, all the paperwork I had also showed that it was truly Rod's bike. I have handwritten receipts where the guy had bought it and how he got it and it's that. So, and Rod pretty much, you know, basically said it was his bike too. So I was like, it's pretty cool. Wow. How, how recently did you acquire the bike, John? <sighs> um, I'm guessing it must be four years now. Okay. And tell us what you've done with it since then. Not a whole heck of a lot. There's a different camps of thought. Do you restore it and put it pristine and this and that? And, and then there's others say, leave it. You can only restore something once. How do you know? It's just another bike that somebody made up and it to look like it. Um, along the gas tank, it shows the blue paint coming through from when it was painted blue, the team color, in the ICT. And it originally started out as a green tank. Wow. And red was the 250 color, so it was repainted after that. And Rod races after he got done with the ICT. He sold it then, so I understand was his mechanic. Um, I got the gentleman's name at home. And that's where it sat for a long time. It was kind of offered back up to him if he really wanted or whatever some years ago. The guys told me that I wanted buying it off of. And he said, nah, he didn't really want it or whatever. And he put it in eBay, got it and put it in eBay. And lo and behold, I was able to get it. I uh, say so you really got yourself piece history here. Yes, I do. I like I like bikes with history. And um, just talking to Kip Kearney, I'm going to have him redo the motor. We'll redo the motor. We'll repaint it make that right because if you don't take care of the motor it's just it's going to disintegrate and pretty much i want to ride it i'm really not much going to do much else with it just make everything sure everything's right clean uh preserved then ride it like possibly in the reunion ride john i don't know if kip will have the uh motor done in time but i would like to but at least yeah i like to have his, at least my spare bi bike so well congratulations this is a real find and a real piece of history thanks